That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with the Father, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. I like that part, John. That your joy may be full. I thought you were asleep still. So I see you've changed your tune a little. Well, I tried what you suggested. Nothing else worked, so I, well, I prayed about it. I prayed that God would work his miracle. So, so uh, what are you writing about? Oh, it's just a letter to the churches. I might as well use my time wisely if we're going to be stuck down here in this cell a while. What I'm really trying to show them is Jesus. You know who he really is. We beheld his glory. But soon a whole generation of young people will be coming along who have never seen Christ, even the Gentile believers. Before the Jews or Romans execute us, we have to pass on to another generation what Jesus did. <laughs> well, I tell him being his pig not long enough to write everything he did and said. Well, no, not all. But at least the best parts. You remember the wedding at Cana? How the water turned to wine? No. What about that wild man, Peter, walking on water amongst that ferocious storm? And, and then there were the thousands fed by five biscuits and two no, little squirming no, no, no. fish? Here's the greatest miracle. Lazarus stumbling out of the burial tomb with the grave clothes still wrapped all around him. No, but nothing in my mind can surpass seeing Jesus himself after his resurrection to touch the scars in his hands and his side. You see, James? We were there. We saw it. We saw and heard and touched him. God's Messiah. We were there, James. It's up to us to tell.
Get up. Keep it short. I'll be back soon. Welcome. Uh, can we help you? We're in jail, brother. We're the ones that need help. <laughs> right. <laughs> can you help us? I doubt if they would let me in today. When I heard you were here, I had to try. I know this place has bad food and water. They thought it was your sister. It's a miracle they let me in. Well, we're used to miracles by now, sister. <laughs> it's manna from heaven, right, John? Well, I brought bread and goat teeth, and I have some leeks and garlic. And the water, the water is fresh from the well. The well? That's it. I know who you are. Well, I wish you would share the news. I cannot place the face, but I know Don't I you see? You're the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well from Sychar. You know, it's her. <laughs> oh, I remember. Oh, please, please sit. We don't have much to offer, but you can at least be seated. You know, this is the second time in our lives that you surprised us. I remember we were shocked the first time to see you. Was I so horrible to look at? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just that, well, you know, for, for a Jewish rabbi to be seen talking to a Samaritan woman, I just, I don't think it's ever happened like that before. And you look so different now. I mean, your clothes, your hair, just everything about you has changed completely. Well, your master changed me completely, from the inside first. I'll never forget that day. It was hot and irritable, and this, this Jew asked me for a drink of water. And like you said, that's never happened before. He knew he was unlike any man I had ever met before or since. He knew I had five husbands. I was amazed at the things that he knew about me. He started talking about living water. I thought he meant, well, you know, running water. But now I understand what he means. Water gives life. We can't live without it. He gave me life that will go on and on. I almost forgot why I came. Here, drink. Jesus gave me water once. It's the least I can do for one of his servants. Thank you. I drink it in memory of him. Um, I hope you don't mind drinking after your brother. <laughs> well, under normal circumstances, I would. But I'm dying of thirst. Do the same thing. The water of life. 